Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service now hacks. In this video, let's just discuss on the field watcher topic, how we can enable the field watcher topic in the next experience UI and what is the benefit out of it. So before I enable the field watcher in the next experience UI, let's get started. What is the benefit and you know how field watcher works uh, exactly in the service now. Uh, I'm going to take one small incident so uh, so that I can you know show you that. So in this video for showcasing a demo, I have just created one client script on the incident table, which I'm making the short description non-mandatory. That means it should not be mandatory. However, if I reload the form, see the short description is becoming a mandatory. So this field watcher will help us to know what exactly is running on the particular field, whether ACL is running, UI policy is running in an order wise and what becomes it mandatory. For that case, field watcher will help. We can also use the debug method, but the debug method will show the, you know, watcher will be enabled for all the field and that is a lengthy process to identify it. So this field watcher will help us to know what exactly is happening. So let's get started. I'm right clicking on the short description and I'm just enabling the watcher. So I, as soon as I enable it, this is a field watcher benefit where it you can able to see you know all type of policies and you know features service no features are enabled here so this is with respect to this short description and this is the icon for you know showcasing that field is being watched so as soon as i enable it i have to just reload the form again right once i reload the form I'll get to know what and all is running. First, it will show you the ACL read only is enabled, then short description non mandatory, which I enabled the client script that has enabled. After that, you see there is UI policy, which is enabled on the short description field. And then we have one more you know, policy to make fields read only, right? So in this way, we can able to debug. If I open this UI policy, See, this is the UI policy, which my short description is becoming mandatory, even though client script run. And also it will tell you what runs first. So the first, the client script is executed and that make a field mandatory to false. After that, there is a UI policy which has run and that makes a mandatory to true. So in this way, we can you know uh, easily troubleshoot the particular field information using a field watcher and this is a great you know troubleshooting benefit uh, i would say but uh, what happens in the you know next experience ui when we enabled recently after san diego version the next experience is enabled and in that version we don't have this option even though we have a you know field watcher click that is not showing anything for that what is the way we can you know follow that i'll tell you first i'll just enable the next experience and i'll show you whether field watcher is working fine or not in the next experience ui So let's go to incident, open any incident. See by default, we are not getting any watcher uh, option here. The watch is completely blocked, even though we have a, we have seen the watcher available and if we enable, the watcher will not be available in the next experience UI. For that, as an admin, if I want to troubleshoot, the simple hack which I'm telling is, if you, you go to system properties, As I explained to you in my previous video already, so just search with this property whether it is enabled or not. If this property is enabled, uh, you know this will make for next experience view to set to off or on for any user. And if you don't want this property to be used from any other user, then you can also make this property to available only for admins then you can you know simply go to your preferences display and turn off the next experience whenever you do this it will go back to your ui 16 page from there you can use what is happening you know on the field watcher and what exactly is being done you can troubleshoot right once the troubleshooting is done you can turn off your uh, 
you know ui 16 and you can go back to your next experience this will really help for the admin people because instead of enabling a complete debug uh, uh, for entire fields so this is a great feature use this feature you know for troubleshooting purpose and you know this will help us a lot and it is a time saving also please comment your queries and your queries in the comment section we will pick the interesting topic and make a video upon that and for more videos please subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed it like and share this video thank you all